Thousands of Tennessee families are having trouble putting food on the table with their SNAP benefits. Tech problems and staffing issues are apparently to blame, and it could be a while before things get back to normal. Our Tony Sloan joins us live with more details on this. Tony, this is an especially tough time for families to be dealing with these issues. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, the holidays are just days away and thousands of Tennessee families who qualify for food assistance have been cut off from food benefits that they rely on. And some are having a hard time accessing first time aid during this time of need. Now, this means they're essentially stuck in a backlog. Many of you have been calling our station, letting us know about issues that you're running into while trying to feed your family. So here's what's happening. The Department of Human Services says in June of this year, they launched a new benefits management system as a way to make things easier for families to manage their benefits or sign up for new services. Well, as they transition from the old system to the new system, a spokesperson with the department says there's a period of adjustment that they're working to mitigate. By July, we're told more than 73,000 people lost access to food benefits in a single month. On top of that, they're also dealing with a staffing shortage. So they say they're working to recruit and retain workers. The department says they're working with federal partners to serve families as well. Now, there's no timeline for when the technology issues will be fixed or when staffing issues will be resolved. So the possibility is families could be left without benefits well into the new year. And we'll keep you posted on any updates that we learn from the Department of Human Services.